Shabbat Shalom. This coming Shabbat, we read the Torah portion of Korah. It is a story of rebellion, but I'll get back to that in a second. Right now, in our country, the United States of America, we live in a time that is very, well, how do we say it, tense, that is constantly seeming as though everything is in conflict and turmoil. It's hard to know sometimes when is the right time to rebel? When is the right time to say enough is enough, something that's going on is just not okay? Remember, doing that, standing up to somebody in leadership, to a group in leadership, is not the easy way out. It's a very difficult, difficult thing to do. And it's hard to know when is the right time to do something. In this week's Torah portion, we read about Korah. Korach and his people, they rebel against Moses' leadership. Now let's assume for a moment that there were problems with Moses' leadership. No leader is perfect. No leader does the right thing every time. So if there was a legitimate challenge to Moses' leadership by somebody who thought that they could do things better than Moses, they could help correct some of his wrongs, well then I think that's a legitimate challenge. But that's not what Korach is after. What Korach is after is personal glory. As Korach says, why are you any greater than we are? In other words, who made you the leader, Moses? Well, the reality is the people made Moses the leader. As much as God may have been involved in Moses' leadership, Moses only remains the leader as long as the people are willing to believe in him as the leader. Korach just is out for himself. So maybe that's our litmus test. That is to say that when we see somebody who seems to be only out for themselves or only out for personal gain, that that's when we scream. But when we see a leader who is legitimately working for the greater good, who sometimes might err and fail, that's the time that we probably should double down and support them. Korach, whether wittingly or unwillingly, provides us with a good model of not only what good leadership looks like, but also what important rebellion does as well. Shabbat Shalom.